Hello. Nice having you. Good morning. We're back. <laughs> Chill out and uh, a bit overlaps there, but yeah. we knew it'd do that. Here's Hannah, she's been here for days. Nice little hamper basket for the parents, they can scoff on them later. And some milk chocolate. I wouldn't say good morning, guys. Welcome, Welcome to, to a new vlog. vlog. But it's it's actually it's about almost morning, almost midnight. Um, so we can go back to the lodge after midnight. Um, I'm currently having an allergic reaction to Pluto. Hence why my eye looks like I've got pink eye. This is why we can't have a dog. And I'm sniffing. I mean, I'm used to mean that I had this this morning when He's we were at Bob and Marie's. Oh, come on then. <laughs> um, we're about to head off. To yes, we're going to pack up lodge. and then off down there. Thank so you um, to the, our wives who've let us stay. Yes. Tonight we've been watching some vlogs, and uh, they are over there. Oh, it's itching like mad. Yeah, hold the Just camera. There. Hello. Nice having you. <laughs> Right. Oh, oh, he was. oh, you as well. Yes. We know, we know. Come on, uh, follow us as we go back to the lodge. Shh. Right, God, I am so tired. Uh, we're on our way to the lodge. It's about 10 minutes before it opens, and um, we've got about 20 minutes to go. The car is so full. Well, it'll all the toolbox is there. We've got batteries. We've got the cushions that the wives brought us. I'm we've got to bags iron and all things like my that. Clothes, it's un my, all my clothes are under everything. Yeah, so is mine as well. It'll be fine. I'll just leave it out for a day and it'll, they'll just hang out. So, um, about 20 minutes till we get to the lodge. Um, it'll open in about 10 minutes and then I just want to get in bed. I'm so tired. And we're back. Back home, back in the lodge. And nice we're going and straight to bed because it is, I don't know, 20 past midnight, half past midnight, something like that. We've just brought quite a lot of stuff in from the car. Pretty much all of it. Yeah, we'll do the rest in the morning. And um, oh, off to bed we go. Sleep. We'll see you in the morning. Oh, good morning, guys. Good morning! We're back. <coughs> we're back, we're back, we're back to this. So we've had one hell of a number of storms. This is the state of our patio. When we went, we tucked it all up against the glass at the back. Um, a lot of trees have been blown down across the park as well. So they've been doing a lot of sort of wood cutting and things like that. Unfortunately, the trees at the side of the lodge didn't make it. So we no longer have anywhere to put our Christmas lights. So we'll have to string them on that one there. But it's going to let a lot more light in. So that's the plus side. Sorry. Now look we'll at the... Yeah, we will. Now just look at the state of the lodge. I just don't even know where to start. We have got stuff that we bought from Ikea. I'm gonna say in lockdown, when we're at the apartment. Uh, the wives got us some bread yesterday. Toolboxes, material, cushions, clothes, parcels, bags of stuff that we've accumulated over the month. My toolbox. Kitchen's an absolute pigsty. I'm just gonna say, do you fancy a cuppa? Yeah, nice cup of tea while I'm editing. Disneyland Paris vlogs. Why is it so cold on this floor? Like ice. Right. right, the lodge is relatively tidy, apart from Lee's not put his clothes away yet. Um, I've just tidied up, I've set up our fire sticks, which I... We replaced them actually for faster ones. I've just put them in onto the TVs and they work like lightning. We'll tidy the decking outside when it stops raining, because right now it's slashing it down. So, first thing we need to do is we have to go to um, Bridlington. Um, to do some stuff to do with work. Nothing to do with vlogging, just something to do with work, the, the other stuff that we do. So we're gonna go up there first, then we're gonna go back, we're gonna go to the pound and pick up Taylor. Taylor's not a dog if you're new to our channel. Taylor's our, our converted camper van, semi-converted camper van. Um, she's been in storage for five weeks and um, she may have a poorly battery. Um, we don't know until we get there. I suspect that she won't start, but we'll find out. And I've got a zapper pack just in case. And then Lee's going to go and get his hair cut and I'm going to bring the van back here. And then I'm going to oh, sort through two. all this lot. So we have some new cameras, which we'll show you on a later vlog for outside. Because the ones that's out there have gone rusty. We've got uh, a smoke alarm. Because we already put a fire alarm in and forgot the smoke alarm. Uh, we've got a first aid kit. We've got some mats for our table spatula, two trivet type things, stuff like that for ice cubes. Did we get that for the van? Yeah. Um, we've got some mirrors, which we need to stick on with these pads. Uh, and we've got this, which I ordered from a company in Poland, which is a low water usage um, shower head. It's only 5.7 litres a minute. But if we turn our rate down on our um, stopcocks, it'll make it even less. And then we have this which if you recall the vlogs before 
we um, left to go to the apartment for the month. I forgot you We it. drove and ripped the no, no, um, no, no, electric no. socket off. Not we, sweet pea. Not we. You. And then I've got loads of... So we've got this to replace. Yes, you have. I've got loads of admin to catch up on and I've got to send uh, these all out to our patrons. I haven't even Let's looked look at, at them, them yet. This is my new design for this year. Has it got the van on it? Yep. Whose idea was that? Mine. You bloody like, I had them put on and all the things that we do in, in the year and the, the, the general design leaded it. Nick just comes up with a few ideas and I implement it all. Best ideas. And then we've got this, which is our... Um, like a mixing bowl for the van, which we didn't get. We got that from Ikea. Um, I keep saying lockdown when we were at the apartment. And then we've got this for the kitchen worktop. I'm praying that there's been nothing disastrous gone wrong with Taylor, like a leaking roof, and it's going to kind of ruin the bed or the worktop or the carpet or whatever. Um, fingers crossed it's all... I mean, because it's wedged between other vans in the, um, in the pound. So, fingers crossed it's been all right. The biggest... Thing is going to be getting it started and getting it out there because it's the longest we've ever left it and the coldest weather. On, so we did messy. we did go see her one week into um, a lockdown, uh, one week into our lockdown. time at the apartment. Yeah, I keep saying lockdown. And the voltage on the battery then was 12.1. A, a battery that's not used and fully disconnected because the battery is disconnected shouldn't really drop. So I suspect when we get there, it's going to be about nine. Uh, but we've got this zapper pack that we bought when we came back from France. I fully charged it this morning, so we're gonna take that with us. And then, all this lot has to go to the bin. We're gonna throw that little bit of um, slap wall in away as well, because we don't need that anymore. And um, we have to get that in the car, and it's absolutely slashing, slashing it down. down. Now, come on, because we've got loads of people coming tomorrow, so we've gotta to get moving. I'm not rushing. Get along. Hannah's not gonna be here till like midnight tomorrow I'm night. Fast, so come on. Right, we're in Brindlington. Our work stuff's done. We're going to nip into B&Q while we're here uh, because I want to see if I can get some metal rods that I can use as a bridge between the thick stool and the um, loose stool and then sit the table on top with the cushions on top of that. Um, I was going to put like dowling on and like a, a lock-in thing but I've, I've changed my mind about that now. I think it'd be better if we put like a steel support that ran across. So we're going to call it B&Q, see if they've got anything that we can use uh, and then... Sausage sandwich? Well, no, we're being good now. We can share it. No. Um, then we can go um, and see if we can get Taylor started. I'm, I'm dreading it, really. I'm dreading what I'm going to find, aren't you? No, I just want to Just get... in case the rain's come through the skylight with the wind or it's ripped the skylight off or... No, it has been windy. I know. Hopefully it's not. And then um, see if we can get this, the, 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 the sodding thing started and then uh, get it back up to the lodge ready for um, more bits and bats to be done. It's, it's snowing back at home. My sister just texted that she's got to go pick the girls up. The school's closing. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Can't say I've missed this place. Last time we came on here, we were all Christmas stuff there still. Is that what you need? That's the same price as I've seen it on Amazon, although I get a pretty small one, actually. Oh. Would that be long enough to do it all? I no, need I need two. Yeah. Well, that's... Almost damn near perfect. What I'd have to do is cut a hole. We need two of them. Let me try and explain it. Two of them. It goes into the fixed stool. Yep. Yeah. And I'd have to drill a hole in each end to put like a lock in. So when it's in place, because if you break sharply, the front stool will slide out and the thing will mm -hmm. collapse. So we need to drill a hole there on each side, on all four sides. And then when it's plugged into the the four stools, what I need to do is put like one of those little dowling locks in to stop it from pulling back out. Yeah. And then the table will sit on top of that, put some rubbers on it so it doesn't slide, sit the table on top and then the cushions on top of that. Perfect. New in at B&Q, sell this uh, stuff now that we uh, have got in Taylor. So if we ever need any more, come here now. Found something a bit cheaper, round ones. So... Or circular ones, should I say. And what we'll have to do is, is, is this will be a lot easier to put the hole in as well. Yeah. We just drill a hole, slot it in, put the hole in there, put the dowel in to lock them in place. And then the table will sit on top. But what I'd have to do is put some anti slip um, matting around it yeah. and glue it into place. And they're a lot lighter as well. And these are like, they are lighter. steel, but they're light as a feather. Like, I can do a bit of monkey magic with it. Right. We're here. Moment in of Taylor. truth. 
Well, first thing I need you to do is access the uh, Victron app on your phone and see what the voltage is from the battery. I've left my phone in car. You'll have to use mine. Right, wait a minute. I've just got to connect these up. What do you want it to be? It needs to be above 12.1. 12.3. 12 oh, right that's then. gone up. Try and get it started then, go on. Right, so. <sighs> Turn that off. I'll let the coils warm before I try and start it. Ready? Some people say do it a couple of times that. I know. We'll do it a couple of times then. No, it's, it's heating the coils now. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. She started? Not bad at all. I'm impressed. <gasps> Everything looks fine. Everything looks fine. It's bloody cold. Well, oh, power's off though, isn't it? So oh, yeah. Them back on. Nice curtains. I actually really like them. Not oh, look at that. What? Where the wind's blown, it sucked the um, the paper up in here. What paper? Ooh. You mean the paper on the blind? Yeah. Do you not mean? Yeah. It'll be fine. It just needs to. Right, let's get back to the lodge and get the cushions in. Right, I'm catching up. It's time. Nick is off out to try and uh, fix that. Um, we have no thing. power in the van, no external hookup power for any heater or anything like that until that's fitted. And it's absolutely silent it down. So I've dressed up best I can, I'm off out to fit it. But it's like, he's been laid on so not laid on so sat on so I'm frustrated, I'm frustrated because of weather. I'm saying, well, just get dressed up. No, oh, I've wow. been doing other stuff. And sort though. it. So right, he's off well, to sort I'm it. I'm, off I'm backing I'm all off. my videos up. I'm off. Right. We're in the van, the heater's on, and... Uh, it's freezing cold outside, like wintry it's, it's cold. It's absolutely howling winds and everything. So we're, anyway, we're that looking unfits. at the cushions. That one fits. That one should be this one. Yep, that one fits. So that will be like 95 mode. Yeah. All them are for pull-out mode. Let me um, have a sit down and see how comfy they are. It's a little higher than than um, we anticipated. See what I mean? Well, a little bit raised. But we can't do about that now. Because no. the table's fixed and the stool's fixed and everything's fixed. So the that's... The table won't come up, will it? Nope. And there's a bar on the wall yeah. that fixes it. It's all right now, but yeah. But we we I'll sat on the cushions when, when we we sat on the cushions when we put the table there, so we knew how high it was. I'll just have to raise my laptop up when I'm editing. I'm not bothered about that. I'm more bothered about. That's what I've been doing every day. I'm more bothered about eating. Oh, eating's fine. Let me just hold this. Let me just. Right. That's all right, isn't it? There's still quite a lot of space underneath. Too much pink now. No, I think it's no, perfect. No, no, no. There's too much pink. <laughs> but too much. it's Nick's mainly Nick's little project. That's so. Um, but I'll let him do whatever he wants with the curtains. Oh, wait a minute. I, I like them though. I, have to, I think they're alright. I like them, but I just don't like all, all no, that. I think he's not pinging his head there. You can call it what you like. Right, so. That. Should sit there. That. Should sit like that. Give us an extra seat. There we go. And then. This will sit on the table, yeah. but the table will go needs down. to drop down. And then we'll have a little L-shaped corner, a little L-shaped sofa. What? How's that going to work? What? Because of the curtains, you mean? Yeah. How did we do it now? Because this is... Well, does that come up to there? No. Now we said we would turn it, didn't we? Did we? Yeah, it must be. Like that. So the stool, when in bed mode, gets turned like Sofa that. Sofa mode. Yeah. Sofa or bed mode, whichever. And now what I need to do is get those rods today, that I got today, and screw there and there. Hmm. Moment, back in a minute. Right, so 
let me just sprag it. That goes there like that. We need to paint them ideally that grey colour. Now, right, push that up for me. No, no, no. Yeah, the box. Can you put that onto no, there no, though? No, I've got to see it first. Yeah. So the box. pull that down. No, Hang on. The box. Hang on. There we go. Right. And now that should slot in there like that. And then we have a nice L-shaped sofa to chill out and... Uh, a bit overlaps there, but we, yeah. knew, we knew it would do that. What does it look like from yeah, there? Yeah, good. Now we need some cushions this size mm -hmm. to just go along here. Look at that there. That mm. yellow from the uh, oil on the table. So we're very impressed with these um, cushions. Still impressed. Still think they uh, look great. And the company that did them was Panache. And they sent us some videos of them doing it, which I'll overlay now. Uh, as you can see, we think they did a great job. Yep. I think um, just the cushions is enough of the colour. There's too much. These The material on this is horrendous. It's like a tank. I must admit. It's crispy. You can actually take them off the hook and they'll stand on the floor. So I think we're going to change these. Um, to some like white IKEA ones. I know it was going to get dirty, but IKEA well, ones are like something. tenorous. Um, I must admit, but these I don't. I, I actually don't mind the colour at all. But when you pull them on, the crispy, they look awful. Yeah, the two crispy, crispy. Well, listen, it sounds know. like a plastic tarpaulin sheet. Know. It's just the wrong material, unfortunately. Yeah. We need something loose, and we yeah. need something at the back that can dangle down yeah. the back. But back to this. Um, these are well, I've measured perfect. The only thing that I'm not keen on. And that's just how we designed it. Nothing to do with the cushion, is the fact that that one, yeah, just overlap. Is overlap. We couldn't have that come out anymore because it's past the halfway point. If that makes sense. But in normal configuration mode, this. Hold on. Let me get rid of that and that, and push that in, and that will be normal configuration mode. So that's how we will have the cushions. Let me just get in. And then we've got to find somewhere for those, and then um, we'll just Can have what? for those. Need something to um... right moment. Let me just assemble it. This is how it's going to look yeah. when we're kind of like having breakfast and things, editing, having meals. Right, hold on. So. There we go. So that's going to be 9 to 5 mode. Yeah. Without this shite. So, now it does. Now then, so when we have the table in bed mode, we turn the mm -hmm. stool. When we've not got it in bed mode, we turn it this way so that you have longer to sit on. So imagine this is not here. Let's get it out of the way. So, effectively, that is the same width as the table. Well, no, it's not. It's the same width as the other chair. So, yeah, I like all that. You sit down and have your food. I feel a little higher at this side than mm. that side. Even though it's the same distance underneath. Yeah. It's fine for editing, it's fine for eating. Welcome to the next day. <gasps> Bloody thing. Nick's just making some scrambled eggs. I'm just editing some Disneyland Paris um, videos. And then we've got two tidy this place up because there's lots of people coming tonight. Well, I've got a bit of a shot for you. What? We have to go to Hull. What for? Because we have to pick up some wrap samples for Taylor and then we have to go back to um, the place we went yesterday in Bridlington for work. Whatever. It's not right. I'm staying here. I'm getting all this sorted. Uh, we have to tidy this lodge and tidy this decking which the, it well, is a mess. Wind and rain stopped, but this place is a mess and we have people coming in a few hours. Oh, it smells eggy. Well, it would, it's eggy, is Is it? I never realised this. Right, the bedroom's kind of back to normal-ish. This is how it's going to be for people staying in here. I think Hannah and Maisie's going to stay in here. The girls and my sister are going to stay in there. Um, so that's that done. Got some washing on. Gonna do a little bit of ironing. Nick's headed down to Hull to get those um, samples for the um, van wrap. Um, so I'm just going to get on to ironing. Then I'm going to start the decking out because it's a right mess. And then I'm going to do another edit. <laughs> Right, 
the next job is to go out and sort all this patio furniture out which is blown all over in the wind. The storms that we had, it's an absolute mess. Done. Next job is to crack on with some more editing. I've just done the Disneyland Paris travel on day now doing where we went to Lisa and Aids. And then I need to um, reluctantly move my lounge fly stuff, which I've been using as an everyday today bag, back into my Tommy Hilfiger bag. I want to save that for when I go to Florida so it doesn't get messed up. So I can take it um, into the parks. But I've got really used to the size of it. It's bigger than my little bag. Um, so. I have to just have a look for another, you know, day-to-day -day bag that's the same size of a lounge fly. Right, Nick's back. Still got loads of jobs to do, but um, we're going to have to stop now because... Um, I'm very excited. I'll tell you why in a second. Um, we've just had some friends around for coffee and now the family's on their way. So we've got about an hour and a half until they get here. We've got to go out still for food for tonight. Nick's going to do a curry. Our friend Hannah and her daughter Maisie are on, will be coming later tonight as well. They haven't set off yet. No, so they're coming from Eastbourne. Um, yes, I've got a Christmas t-shirt on, I just don't care. And then when my fat mum and dad get here, we're going to take them up to an Airbnb locally where they're staying. Oh, that's today, isn't it? Yeah, because there's just no room in the lodge for everybody. And um, they weren't originally coming, but at the end we said, why don't you come? Come and we'll, we'll treat you to an Airbnb and have, you know, stay with us and for the weekend stuff. So. What he means is you just put him in there because we needed a lift to bring him over. For the girls? Yeah. Well, that as well. That helped out as well. <laughs> um, so we're going to go up to their Airbnb, have a look around. We'll show you guys as well. Um, I've so just been to Hull. Oh yeah, that's why you're excited. Yes. So we have picked the vinyl wrap colour for Taylor. Um, and I got a quite good price. It was recommended from a friend of ours who uses them for his company. So um, we'll put a picture on the screen of the sample that I saw in his hand this morning. He's actually ordered me one so we can bring it back and hold it against the van. So Taylor is going to be a Wrapped. metallic grey, charcoal grey colour. Yeah. That'd be nice. So, so now we're going same to... colour as the, the as Parker and yeah, Jarvis. Yeah, that'd be nice. And... They're very similar colours. Yeah, they're easy to clean. Yeah, and um, he, he he seemed when I spoke to him, he seemed quite enthusiastic. Just a nice guy, you know. What I mean, mm. he just give you give you that good feeling that he's going to be a, a good company. Mm. Good. So it's a cheap it's a cheap um, cheaper option than having it sprayed. I mean, the quality yeah. of having it sprayed was ten grand. It's like we could buy two vans for that. So we're just going to head down to Tesco, get some food, and then get back. Nick's going to do some work in the van while the family's here. And I'm, I'm just drill. sort of trying to make sense of all this chaos. I'm going to drill those pole holes, slot them in, cut them to size, and then get them fitted and put the grommets in so we can actually put it fully assembled. And then those, those rods will just stay in the van somewhere. Let's go. Right, we've decided to do um, chicken wraps instead. What about... Oh, yeah, that'd be better. Shredded. Shredded. Yeah. A few protein yogurts. Troubles here. <laughs> so we're just going to go a bit of a drive now to get to my mum and dad. Uh, they're staying in a, a place nearby. So we're going to get them all settled in and uh, then they're going to come back later for a uh, meal. The uh, chicken wraps that we got. I'm starving now actually. I want it very soon. Right, we're in the uh, Airbnb. It's so crappy in here. Very nice, and um, we're just going to leave the parents to get unpacked and everything. Well, we go back and get the girls settled in the lodge, their 100 uh, cases and things that they bring, and um, there we go. Nice little hamper basket for the parents, they can scoff on them later. And some milk chocolate for uh, Bickies, uh, chocolates. chocolates. Yeah. And in here, they've left a vanilla cheesecake, and double cream, and some milk. Right, that's the parents dropped off. Where can we drop you lot off now? Nowhere. Lodge. Right. Coming back for cheesecake. Right. They've just arrived. I'm escaping now. I'm going to do some work in here. So I'm going to just get set up first of all, put the lights on and the heating's on. 
I'm going to bring my toolbox in, unpack the kettle, get that on the worktop, make sure it works. Um, I got this today because the one that I got yesterday from Amazon was actually, it had this bit missing from it. I'm going to get that drilled and then I'm going to attempt to put the, uh, the brackets in there. Time to test the kettle. So first things first, put the inverter on, put the water pump on and then I need to somehow get into this when I can figure out how to open it. Oh, there we go and then put some water in it. So let me just, it's difficult to do with one hand. Just gonna put one cup in. That'll be fine. Water pump's running now, because it's topping that pressure back up. Put it in, put it on, and there we go. So it doesn't actually flash when you look at it in real life, but um, because it's LED lights, the camera's picking it up. So that's gonna let that boil. Um, I've got these that I got from Amazon when we were at the apartment. I'm gonna put one of these, the plastic's still on that. They are a bit crap because they, um, they scratch really easily. So, but what I'm gonna do is potentially put one there. So if you're having a shave, I suppose if you're having a shave, you won't be shaving in the shower. So maybe I won't put one there. Maybe we'll put one on the inside of a cupboard or maybe the back of a cupboard. I don't know. I didn't really think about when we ordered them where we were going to put them. Maybe we'll put one there like that. So do it over the kitchen, do it over this cupboard here. That's probably a good idea actually. That way, whoever stood at the sink having a shave can see, kind of. It's a little bit distorted, but it'll be fine. I'll put one there. Right, so, they come with these little sticky pads and it should stick to there. So I'm just going to peel these off. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to put one at the back of the secret door as well. Or the hidden door, I keep calling it secret door, but it's not really secret. Um, so that if Lee wants to have a shave at the same time, because Lee dry shaves, and if I want a wet shave, then he can do that. Oh, the kettle's starting to boil, I can hear it. And then... Just scratch the, the peely on it, like that, and then just pop it there, put it as high as possible. Uh, let's put it central to that. Okay, we need some bet pads because they're absolutely crap. So it sticks to the plastic but not to the actual wood. Wonderful. Right, I say I need I need to come up with a solution on how we're going to stick that on there. Probably use a bit of Sikaflex actually. Kettle's just about boiled. I'm just looking at the power consumption on the uh, the smart shunt, 25 watts, and I'm sure that's not correct. Well, it's just gone up to 71 watts, but it's not even touching the battery. Basically, three amps, and well, it's kind of fluctuating about 60 to 70 watts. So we can run that kettle for almost like a day on that wattage, if that's correct. There we go, it's boiling. Turn that off. There we go. Just need a cup and I'll have a cup, could I have a cup of tea? Right, next job is to make this hole fit this. So I needed a 52 bit drill, 52 mil drill bit, which I ordered from Amazon. I've had to put a back plate on there just to make sure that I've got something to drill this in. Otherwise, if I try and do it in the hole, it'll just scratch everywhere and not move. So I'm gonna do that now. extremely easy right what I need to do now is just take those take the back plate off at the back and push the um, power cable through and it should fit just get my drill bit sorted right climb in and loosen this see that at the minute. There we go. And then, hold on. There we go. And then, it's 
it's very difficult to do this whilst vlogging and doing this at the same time. Usually I'd have Lee, but he's editing. So this bit here now needs to go Hold on. This bit needs to go on the back of the wood and bring that in and then we just need to straighten it up, clean it and that should be nice and tight. So before I do that I need to get the uh, the grommet on the other side of the, um, the thing so I need to pull these out again actually. So this basically, I can't remember the way we explained it in the vlog but this will show us from inside the van the water level inside the tank there's like a floating sensor. I think we did show it actually. Let me just get it back into the socket and put the cap on like that and fingers crossed it should just fit way check that out perfect so I'm just gonna put the um, get rid of that put the thing on the back and screw it tight uh, there is a wire to actually wire this into the power supply um, so it glows continually. I might actually get that switched on so it's when we're looking at it on an evening or even when it's dark You'll still be able to see the water, water level. There we go. Wide it in. So you can see there We've just got just over a quarter of a tank left. You can actually I um, got this off um, Amazon actually or eBay I can't remember which but it actually show you can actually display different colored lights So you can have it off altogether. You can have an orange or you can have it on red um, now this is going to use virtually no power at all, so I'm just going to leave it on permanently. It's connected to the 12 volt system and it just runs off the signal, the positive um, lead from the sensor inside the tank. So this is going to be in a cupboard, so it's not going to kind of keep us awake at night. Um, so there we go, that was nice and easy. Right, next job, and the one that I've not been looking forward to, and um, I've had a lot of thoughts about this, how we're going to do it in January. And we're going for the pole idea that's going to add the suspension. So I need to remove the table, the leg, I need to pull this out and then I need to measure where the top of this table here will be, if I put it flush there, where it will be on here, draw a line and then pick the, the spot where I'm going to put the rods in, get a hole saw and drill the holes, put the rod in as far as it's going to go on this side and then measure the correct distance on here. Um, I've got to remember to turn this round and drill the holes on the other side because that's the configuration and then put the rod in, bring up the excess and then chop it off and put some kind of lock in it so that when we're in motion and we've got the bed in the the chaise long mode or the bed mode that the table that this doesn't slide away and pull the tubes out and drop to the floor so first things first get rid of this table right it's three days later since the last scene we've screwed up so nick unfortunately pushed a pushed a button on the camera after the last scene and we've been filming for Saturday, Sunday, three days. Monday, three days and everything's in slow motion with no sound. So, so we've got footage, yeah. but no audio and we're all moving like like we're in... Um... Yeah, so anyway, we can talk over a little bit now and just explain what happened. So Nick um, carried on and put the rails in. So and... the, tubes, the tubes basically go through the two fixed seats and then the table sits on top. Yeah. Um, I did it by using the these these here and I drilled holes in as you can see here and then we put little metal pins in and it stops the chair from pulling out. Um, so if we do if it is in bed mode and we do break sharply there's no way that the bed can disconnect and then as you can see on the footage the table sits on top of the poles and then the cushions sit on top of that. So as you can see here Nick is, is uh, um nicely reclined in sofa mode and or, also or bed mode for can, a small yeah, person as you can see i i, I kind of got on and it was like in bed mode and we said um i could probably quite easily sleep there if i wanted to no i've ever need, any need to sleep there it's warm in here god warm. what have you done um so that's what uh, happened so we're quite pleased with those cushions how it's worked out and everything and then uh, this got delivered scotch guard Where's the front bit? There. So the, this bit I didn't vlog because I was in the van. Uh, I was in the I, Lee was in the house and I didn't have the camera um, and I needed to do this outside. So I basically sprayed all the cushions. This is a heavy duty water shield to basically protect the cushions from um, stains and sort of ingress water and things like that. So they've only had one coat. So we'll be doing that in the next vlog or probably later on in this vlog. Um, it leaves quite a varnishy smell. So the van at the minute smells quite decorate like a mm. decorated mm. smell so the next thing that we did as well is i went through and started working on the inside of the cab 
I got all the paint off the dashboard, all the expanding foam off and things like that, and I actually tried putting some polytrol on the um, trims around the car and around the van, and we were absolutely stunned watching it come back to life. So as you can see on the footage, the, the quality, uh, the, the, the degradingness of the bumper was pretty bad. It was like faded and there was watermarks on it. And as soon as you put a little bit of polytrol, polytrol on, it brings it and restores it back to its original color. Uh, so I've ordered some more from Amazon. That's not due. Yet. That's not turned up yet. And we're going to do all the trims around the van. Mm. But the quality, I can't. We, we can't believe Very it. Impressed. We were we were going to take it off and have them resprayed, but we don't need to do that now. We just need to paint it with some polytrol and then rub the rub it off. So in the next vlog, or maybe the next vlog after, because we've still got family here tomorrow, we'll be getting right back into the van work and we'll be showing you everything. Well, possibly not because the car is going into the garage yeah. for two days when we take them the day that we take everybody yeah. back. So it's probably going to be at the weekend, so, but... We will be showing you everything in detail soon. So a TV turned up also, and a bracket. Oh, here? Yeah, so I'll put a few little footage of, of what we were filming as well. Um, but we will show you, because obviously we've not... We haven't fitted it, it. we were we'll just kind of holding it in position. We are testing it and stuff like that, as you can see. Yeah. And um, we hope and think it, it's looking pretty good. Um, so, yes, for the last three days, um, Hannah, Maisie, her daughter, and um, my sister and the girls have been here. Even my mum and dad's been here. And the Disney wives. And the Disney wives have been here. So we full filmed the whole two days, um, but uh, there's no sound and it's really poor quality because it's only it's not even full HD, I don't think. But we've got, we've got slow-mo footage. So <laughs> yeah. what did we do that we missed? We might even put it... Vicky tried to do... Um, Vicky tried Marmite yes. and almost puked on the table. Yeah, no, Vegemite. Vegemite, yeah. And I almost puked on the table. What else? Um, we've been shopping... Uh, we did a surprise birthday party for Maisie yep. um, with our friends Lisa and Ian and we had a little afternoon tea. Um, it's been a nice weekend actually. Nothing, so shame you nothing major. Uh, um, yes, shame you missed it all. We've got the footage. <laughs> We've got but... the footage. We might actually put it in. I can speed it up because it's in slow motion and we may just talk all over it and put it on like Lodge Guys Extras or something. Yeah. Or, I'll put it as or, a or this video, video, what we're talking oh, about now, things, the things that we've yeah. done. And we'll just give you kind of clips as we're talking yeah. of what we've done and you'll have to kind of work out what we what we were saying. But so, nothing major. You've so, not missed anything no. massive. We went into Beverly today and um, we did a little bit of shopping. We had some food at Weatherspoons because everywhere was rammed so we just went to Weatherspoons. Um, and then the girls went in a skin shop because they absolutely loved that kind of stuff and just did a bit of mooching around and then we came back and um, we bought some food. It's pancake day tomorrow. Nick bought a gammon and... Oh, that's in the slow cooker right yeah. now. We'll show you that when we so go in. So we're going to go in and um, finish the rest of the evening. Um, so people will just turn up in the vlog. Even we may, they've been here for we, days. we may end up just talking about things that we've done in the last three yeah. days. If we do, we'll put the footage over the top. Just so it kind of like, we don't lose it. Yeah. Right, let's go in because it's baking in here. Right, we're back in the lodge. Lee's just putting his laptop away and doing some exporting. So the gammon is in the slow cooker. We got it today when we went to Beverly. Um, it's in cider, cloves and orange again. And um, it's starting to cook nicely. I've put it on high this time. Oh, it smells like mulled wine again. Um, I've put it on high. That should be ready about sort of half past ten tonight. Um, we're not going to be eating it tonight, but we've got some nice bread from Tesco and we're going to have piccalilli and ham sandwiches tomorrow. So everybody's kind of got their own thing today. We, I didn't want to be sort of cooking anything and trying to fit everybody's criteria. So we've all got our own little bits. Maisie couldn't wait. She's already eating us. So these turned up today as well. So when we take the, gar the van into the garage later on in the week, um, the garage is going to fit the alloys with the tyres that we've already got. When we do go and go Europe, we're going to swap the tyres out because one of them's got a puncture, a um, couple of them are, are a couple of years old and they need just it's better to just get new tyres when we're taking it in like a foreign country. So tyres, the the tyres is not the the main issue that we're going to have if we have any mechanical problems. So they weigh a little bit more than what they told me. They're supposed to be eleven point two kilos, and they're actually twelve point three. No, they're supposed to be eleven point five, and they're actually um, twelve point three. So they're eight hundred grams per tyre. But they come with the bolts, and they look nice. So hopefully they'll be on the van. Here's Hannah. She's been here for days. In slow motion. Hi, She's been in slow motion for days. Um, here's a couple of the kids. Hi. And um, just having some food. We're all having our own separate things. <laughs> yeah, you have been like that. Slow motion for days. So, um, I'm having some Korean. Tesco started doing Yo Sushi um, ready meals. So, I got that. these. That's why I'm having the gym have kitchen. Have you tried that before? This one? Yo Sushi? No, this no, one. no, I didn't even oh, know they did it. It looks like orange it's chicken. So nice. Is it like spicy? No. Oh, it needs some on it. 
Oh my god. Those are so nice. This is like this is like orange chicken, but a little bit spicy. Yeah. So they sell them in Tesco, they're called Korean um chicken um wings or something like that. It's boneless. But it, it reminds me just of Panda Country, but it's got a bit of a spice. So some of this with boiled rice and some sweet chili, chili sauce. Panda Express, not Panda Country. Yeah, that's what I meant. Will make the perfect um like home takeaway. Definitely must try them again. The gammon is in for tomorrow. Mmm. 70. 68. Oh god, it's cooked then. Cooked already? 76, yeah. Mm. Shall I give it another half hour? Well, it's up to you. It's been in for four hours, it will be in 20 minutes. It smells mm, like mulled wine. Well, it's at 76 all the way through. Right. Making the glaze. Marmalade and honey. Just going to mix them together and then I'm going to take it straight out, paste it all over the. Um, the thing, put some more cloves in it, strip off what fat I can, and then put it in the oven for 30 minutes just to it browns and glazes. Let it go cool, and then tomorrow we're gonna have ham sandwiches for the next five days. Let's get it out. Oh, the smell. Get a bit of drainage off there. And then this fat should, should just peel off. Might need a knife. Maybe. fat that's meat that that's meat it's just this little area it wasn't actually a fatty one to be honest let's dump that back in the um, waste stock that's off now and then I'm gonna get this well the first thing I'm gonna do is dump it all over it and then get some cloves and put some cloves in it Smell. And then what? Put it back in. And then put it back in, so it just browns off, and that sugar crystallizes, uh, that browns it off, and gives it like a nice coating. Lovely. And then what I'm going to do as well is put some sliced oranges on it as well. Mm. Right. Right. Hold on. All this food is because we've had the guests for the last three weeks, <laughs> uh, three not. days. So we've been doing it anyway. We won't have all this food. get the cloves out. Cloves are on and I'm just going to put a couple of slices of orange on there just to, um, in fact I'm going to probably put it on the side bit here because I want it the top to be nice and crispy so we'll just kind of put it there and then I'm going to shove this in the oven to brown for about 30 minutes. You can make him mash his cough Not too bad actually. It's oh, just, it's just the juices. It's the juices that's burnt. Yeah. This is tomorrow night's tea. This is the next four nights teas. Ham sandwiches. We and then it's pancakes. Very, um, burnt sugar. Mm. Come have a look, Masha. Yeah. See Unless if you're looking forward to this for tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, I'm coughing <laughs> as well. <coughs> it's a big. Oh. It's a big pit, a bit of pig. This is a. This is just a bit. That's the. That's the sauce. That's what you're gonna be eating next to it. That's going on a sandwich. <laughs> no, it'll be fine once it's cut. Just cut it open. It's not like the one at Christmas where it fell apart because I overcooked it. But take that clove off there, and then I'm gonna try it. Mmm. That's sweet. Really sweet. Mm, from the sauce. Well, I'm smoker. You want to try some? No. You want to try some, Hannah? Are you still choking over there? You want to try some, Janine? Can I try some? Yeah. You try some, Hannah. And yeah, it's probably going to be like boiling hot. My mouth is going to be Yeah. Just so she can. That's going to be golden. Mmm. You get some pieces. Now she smells really nice. Is it going to be hot? It might be hot, yeah, That's just hot. leave it for it. Oh, so much fresh air, she's come out. That's nice again. Have you smelt the food? No, I died, I fell over. On your game? No, in real life. Oh, oh what are you doing? Oh, it's not hot, let's go. I'm going to finish the vlog while they're enjoying um, 
the gammon, which is for tomorrow night. So uh, thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below, hit the subscribe button if you're new around here, or if you just have never subscribed to us. And uh, we'll see you on the next vlog um, when these guys are still here and we're gonna be doing something with those. And um, we'll see what we get up to. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye.